What's up YouTube? Dipper Champion 62, I'm Derek. Got a new video today with my dip. Um just a short update. A friend gave me uh the rest of his can. Well I thought why not make a dip review on it. Got some longhorn wintergreen. Real cheap stuff, about ninety nine cents down at sheets. It's not bad when you're running out of cash, it's something to pick up to feed your craving. We got a good amount left in there. I don't know if you can see that. But, I mean, it's good enough. It'll suffice for a dip. Let's get one in here. And, uh, we, it was really dry when I, uh, when he gave it to me. So I put it under a water fountain. Got it nice and juicy. And I, I threw a, a good one in coming home. And it's not bad now. Mm-hmm. It's still a little dry, but it's not bad. For 99 cents, it's a good dip to buy. The taste is a lot different than Grizzly and Copenhagen. The taste is... I don't know how to explain it. Uh, it's more... I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, guys. It's like one of those dips where you gotta, you gotta just try it for yourself. It's kind of sweet, kind of sour, kind of dry. Yeah. It re like, it's really hard to explain to you guys. And I'm sorry for that. I didn't mean to take a long silence and just looking up in the air, tasting. It it's not bad for ninety nine cents. I I'd recommend it for if you're poor and you don't have uh, your paycheck coming anytime soon and you need some dip because you're craving it. Go out and buy some damn longhorn, damn it. That's the way to go. Ninety nine cents. Plastic, plastic top, plastic bottom. It's about the simplest thing you can get. It's it's all right. It's not my favorite off like off brand kind of dips to buy. I personally like uh, Timberwolf. Every once in a while, guys. Friend Donnie Russell, he gave it to me for the first time. It literally looked like a shining star because of how much salt and fiberglass. If you guys want to argue about that, I don't really know. Just fiberglass, okay. No need to get in arguments about it. It's I just think it's going to be goddamn fiberglass. It shines so bad, but the mint tastes oddly like Skull. Oddly like Skull. A lot better than Grizzly at times. When Grizzly's dry like that fucking mint that I got. Very pissed off at that one, guys. I finished that off Saturday night. After I made that vid, I had to get rid of it. I just needed to dip it off. But, yeah, it's still juicy. Water helps, guys. I recommend that to those that are, uh, that got a really dry dip. I didn't think about it. Just, uh, get some water, a couple drops, pack it up real good. For a good 10 seconds. Shake it up if you have to. If you can't pack that well. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just put it up there. So I'm sick of always doing that in videos. I'm sorry you guys that I keep doing that. Always opening and closing bottles. This damn carpet. I'll tell you guys. The carpet is just really raggedy. And it falls over real quick. I don't know if you could have saw that. But by my leg or something. I'm sorry. It's it's ruggedy and this thing would fall over and I get really pissed off and have to deal with the stains that would suck. <sighs> my next vid will be Friday. We're gonna me and my friend Austin, he's gonna choose my dip for the week. He's thinking either Grizzly Premium Extra Long Cut or Copenhagen Natural Extra Long Cut. 
I'm hoping he picks Copenhagen because that's my favorite. I wouldn't mind having Grizzly. I wouldn't mind trying it. Now, me guys, I am not a big straight or natural guy. I am a big dipper. I like wintergreen. Wintergreen's my shit. That's what I buy all the time. So, I haven't bought a can of straight in God knows how long. It's, I just don't like the taste of it, guys. I don't, like, Joey Colsar always dipping Copenhagen Original. He used to give it to me when we'd sit down at Dairy Queen when I lived where he was in Canfield. We'd always dip it down, like, every once in a while when I didn't have any on me. He thinks it tastes like steak. I just think it tastes, it's just got a weird sour taste. It tastes like, kind of like oil. Never had oil. Don't get me on that. Tastes to me like oil. And it's a very, very expensive. At like 4 19 is it, Joe? Let me know on, in the comments on that one. How much, uh, Copenhagen Original is. Um. I just don't like the taste of straight, especially Grizzly straight. I had I used to dip straight all the time back when I first started. It just doesn't get off for me. Not in the sexual sense, guy. It just doesn't get off. It doesn't give me that buzz that uh, Copenhagen uh, Wintergreen does. The straight's not bad for Copenhagen Wintergreen. I enjoy that. That's a more sweeter taste. Grizzlies is always that, just, it's just really strong, and it overpowers, like, the real taste of straight tobacco, like, uh, Copenhagen does, it's giving a sweeter taste, kind of feels like you got sugar while you're spitting, in a teeny way, just a teeny way, this straight is not good, I do not recommend it to you guys, do not get the Longhorn straight, if you're going to go out by a can, Get Longhorn Wintergreen. Timberwolf Mint. That's my recommendation. If you guys do get money, try Copenhagen Natural Action Long Cut. I haven't had it in a long time. My friend Mark gave it to me a while ago. <coughs> Sorry. Um, it just... It's not bad. The Long Cut is a lot different than the extra long cut. It feels like you're putting in grass. When, like you take a big dip and it just feels like you have two times more in there because it, it's so much longer. And the thing I like about extra long cut is that uh, it juices a lot longer. I've had it in, like, I had one in for a good two hours and it kept juicing without having to press it down or flip it. Some people do. I flip my dips so just so I can get all the juice out. My friend Cameron just presses down just to get all that juice out. My gums have been hurting ever since I grew. It tore my gums up. That's the one thing I dislike is Grizzlies. Like, everybody thinks it's so much more powerful because your lip burns so much more, and I disagree on that. I think that the only reason why people think Grizzly, Wintergreen, and any other Grizzly is the best is because it, it gives you that powerful burn, but really, it's just the dryness coming at you in my mind, guys. You know, you guys look closer. I personally think it's just powerfully dry. If American Snuff can pick up their business and do a little better job, I, I'd be a lot more happier with it. Copenhagen, um, I keep saying it, but Copenhagen, I it's just, it's a lot more moist. The only problem is they take dips out of you. They jip you in a way. They really do. But they're starting to get better. When you buy log, the logs have seem to be more packed than the regular cans do. <clears throat> I 
I recommend it to you guys. Cope Wintergreen is personally, I think, the best. It gives me that good nicotine rush. I've looked up on it. It's got more nicotine in it. That's why I think it's more addictive. It gives you a better buzz. Like the first time when you do Grizz, is that very powerful buzz that uh, where you just want to fall over. You don't want to move. You get a headache after it. My first time I did a big dip of that at Cameron's house. I threw up on it. But after I bought my first can of Copenhagen, on to now, where I usually only buy that. I bought two cans yesterday. It it just suffices more. Let me get a drink of water, the patented water bottle, along with the uh, solitary confinement of dip. You know it. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. We did a repeat, nice little review on Longhorn Wintergreen. Try it if you don't got cash. Keep dipping, guys. I'll see you guys on Friday. Have a good one.